Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? Today's uh, the 19th, April 19th. Um, I've been trying to start my welding business, man. Look, I got my truck, got my welder, got a, a few other stuff in the back of the truck in there, other tools and stuff. But uh, I went last Friday and I went to talk to this guy at a company and I told him what I'm trying to do and what I was doing. And uh, basically what he told me, he said, man, I got a welder that came over here and he's been trying to He's been trying to like sneak hours on there, add hours and stuff on there, and he's not doing a good job. He never shows up, this and that. And I told him, man, um, I have a lot of pride in my work, and I know everybody probably tell you that. I said, but I said, you give me a chance, I guarantee you, hey, uh, I won't let you down. So yesterday on my way home from my original, my nine to five job, uh, he called me and he's like, hey, I need you to come in tomorrow. I need you to do some welding on a bucket for an excavator. He said, I got a bucket for a, uh, for a front end loader and I got some few other stuff I need you to do, man. He like, uh, I need you to come in. I like, well, what time you want me there, boss? He said, well, can uh, we open at eight o'clock? Can you be here at eight? I said, I'll be there at eight o'clock. So right now it's 7, 15, 7, 10 right now. And um, I just wanted to record this video real quick, but once uh, I get done here, that's exactly where I'm going. I'm gonna try to be there a little bit early, be professional. And, uh, I just want to say I hope that y'all follow y'all's dreams, you know, don't just work for the man, you know, you got to follow your dreams and work hard on, on what it is that you want to accomplish. And uh, don't let no one tell you you can't do it because uh, it's possible you can do it. You think positive, positive things are going to come your way, even though you're going to go face a lot of trials and stuff like that. But uh, I guarantee you, if you really want it, you're going to make a way to do it. But uh, I'll let y'all go. Rock out with this thing, that's what they're doing. And, uh, that's a lot of abuse on this equipment. But uh, you can see, broke all the back off, all the sides on top. And that fork is actually lower than the rest. You can see it's a little bit lower. We're gonna raise it up, rub it all back in place, clean it up here. retire this one from pulling out big blocks of rock out of the ground they're gonna use it just for dirt only so he's, he wants me to use that one still the one that broke off that way so that's for pulling rock out of the way i want to use this one more this top piece right here is already broke off it should have came out of here it already broke off but i wouldn't use it anymore for pulling rock but uh, he said they're gonna retire this excavator already pretty old and beat up and, they're gonna use it just for pulling dirt out. Really. Hey man, just do your best. If it holds, it holds. And if it don't, you know, well, it's gonna be for rock, dirt only. Uh, I suggested it, it would have just bought a new one, welded a new one under, and probably good. But I wanna save a little bit of money, so I'll just go ahead and weld it under.
going on. Hey, man, um, I know y'all just seen this video. I, I didn't get to record a lot of stuff, how it was actually done and everything. And, uh, you know, I was on the company time on working for their time, so I couldn't really be on my phone too much. I didn't want to be on there. I was trying to be more professional, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, like I said, you, you, you're you never going to know that you're ready. You just got to go out there and try it, man. And you're going to learn a lot of new stuff along the way. So you're going to stuff that you didn't think you needed or you don't need, you know. Uh, all I got all I got basically is my welder and a tank of the torch. And I got a small little air compressor. You can see that just a little electric air compressor I have hooked up to my to my welder. And uh, all, I just use that just to blow out any little stuff that I can't get with the wire brush or whatever, you know. But man, just, you're gonna a lot of people you I know I do it myself too. I make a lot of excuses. Oh I can't I'm not ready yet, I gotta I gotta buy this, I gotta buy that, I gotta do it. You just gotta go out there and try it. I promise you, you're gonna have, you're gonna be ready. I got this shirt right here. Stay hustling, boy. I, I do a little bit of everything. I do welding. I do make T-shirts. I make vinyl decals. Look, I made that one for my truck. It says yes, I got a welder. No, I won't weld your shit for free. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, uh, I did it pretty good. You know, I I gave him my rate, what I'm charging by the hour. And I did two excavator buckets, uh, the shanks, and then I did um, a set of forks for a uh, skid, skid steer. I did a loading table that they had there that was kind of broken down. They wanted me to repair, just a simple repair. But uh, I did all that in a matter of 15 hours and got uh, it's a lot more than, I made a lot more in that 15 hours than I do pretty much all week on my regular nine to five job. But uh, yeah, man, you know, this is my journey. I'm, I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make my own business. And and if you're trying to do the same thing, man, just, just keep moving forward, you know, just try it out. I guarantee you, you're ready. Even though you think you're not ready, you need this, you need that. And I guarantee you, you, you probably got everything you need already to do what you need to do. But uh, I'll let y'all guys go, man. Uh, hit that like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.